Hello guys, this is Alex the Rail Fanning Redneck here. It's been a long, long, long time that I wanted to fulfill this goal. And and as you can see by the box, this is not a rail fanning video or a model train video, it's a fire alarm video. I like to celebrate me getting my first ever fire alarm panel. So that means, you guess it, system tests will be coming in in the following months. So, it's uh, it's by Firelight Alarms and the nice little Dalmason puppy dog on there. And it's the Firelight MS4. Pause the video and read that. Sorry, there's a FedEx label on there. All right. So, ready? See the panel? There it is. Brand new, $288, and that was with the sipping, so the panel itself was a little bit cheaper, too. So, let's find my keys, and we'll open this thing up. And my firelight key works just fine. There she is. Yeah. The Firelight MS4 Fire Alarm Control Panel. Pause the video and read that. I'll go slow so y'all can read that. Read some of that. Yep. This does not have an LCD screen like many fire alarm panels do, but instead it has a series of dip switches and LED lights and these are the only buttons it's pretty cool it's a nice basic panel four zones two NACs some non resettable power whatever that's used for a trouble relay an alarm relay and a supervisory relay whatever those are used for I'm sure that one's used for alarms but the, the NACs are used for Horn strobe alarm. I'm sure the alarm relay is used for like other stuff. This big strip right here with the prongs sticking out, that's for the Firelight 4X LMF annunciator driver. Yes, these panels can take annunciators, just really crappy ones that are single gain and don't really do much. And this is a trans transmitter strip, so you can put a dialer on it too. And this is the battery, the battery connector has battery backup and these are the power cord terminals AC hot which is the black the AC neutral which is the white and the earth which means ground and green what you do is you cut up a you cut the end off of an extension cord you strip the wires and then you strip those wires inside and hook them up to the proper terminals and then this goes through here and then it goes into the transformer it goes in whatever these things are and throughout the board so there's the zones so it will take so yeah that's what I call it an MS4 and then there's the NAX which I believe hold around 20 horns 20 horn strokes but I want to get a Firelight FCPS NAC extender so I can put one NAC into the input of the FCPS module, and then I'll have four more NACs. So I'll have even more fire alarms. Ain't that cool? So, <laughs> you've got a nice overview of the panel. We're going to... We're going to connect some of my alarms and wires and poles and, and a horn strobe. So, sit tight. All right, we're gonna well, let's see if this problem has been fixed. All the dip switches are off, basically. So if we've got the Wheelock AS hooked up to NAC one, the Simplex forty two fifty one twenty hooked up to zone one, and the Simplex twenty ninety nine ninety seven fifty four hooked up to zone two. Ready? Put that in the keys. That worked. Alright. 
for some reason, zone one says trouble. I think the end of line resistor's not in all the way. Oh, there we go. I'll have to get batteries for this thing. Alright, now for zone two. There's, there's nothing to uh, cover up my uh, horn with, unfortunately, so yeah, I have to get the full volume of it. Next, let's do the 2099. Yeah! I'm making a video! So, now it works. That works. I think this resistor's not in all the way. Let's try that again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this mini system test or the starter system test. Let's try that real quick. So, that's the wrap up of my system startup. A lot of people may think, Oh, this, this looks just like it's based off a of fire alarm person's video. Yes, it is. In fact, he's one of the people that influenced me to get this panel because he's got the same thing, and I really enjoy watching his video. So, shout out to fire alarm person on YouTube for inspiring me to make a system startup setup similar to his, except he, he has the Wheelock AS2, but I'm using simplex poles. So, yeah. We will have many more videos of fire alarms working, and um, uh, maybe with some mechanical horns too. Not those; those are AC, so you, and you can't use AC with this thing. Um, but maybe some spectral alerts. That'll be cool. So, I hope you enjoyed this fire alarm video, and with many more to come. This is Alex the Rail Fanning Redneck. Oh,